What is going on guys, this is your boy Chimpec bringing you guys a video guide on how to farm money really really quickly in Pokemon Omega, Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. So first we're going to look at the trainer eye and see what type of trainers we can battle. And the trainer class that you really want to battle are rich boys and ladies and gentlemen. There are no madams in this game so you're stuck with those three trainer classes. So basically you can fight rich boy Winston and lady... Cindy on Route 104, which is just south of Rustboro, and they give you $11,000 if you have an amulet coin or a luck incense. They do not stack. Amulet coin, multiple amulet coins also do not stack, so you can't use that. Uh, if they could, you just you would, probably wouldn't even need this guy. You could just probably play regular trainers, and you'd have max money really, really quickly. You get the amulet coin after you talk to your mother after beating the fifth gym leader, your father. And she'll just give you the amulet coin, or you can also go to Slateport City and get the luck incense in the in the shop south of Slateport City. So both these trainers have Lanoon and Pyro respective of their genders. They're around level 50. So if you have a level 50 fighting type Pokemon, this should be uh, no problem in knocking them out. I'm just going to use my Iroh. And Iroh is definitely going to be easily able to knock these two out. So just get a fast fighting type Pokemon and these guys should be no problem. With the amulet coin, they give you around $11,000. With prize money O powers, uh, you can get it to $17,000 after level 1, around $22,000, $23,000 after level 2. And after level 3, I believe it triples from $11,000 to $30 something thousand. Uh, I'm not too sure because I don't have prize money O power level 3 yet. So to get to Rich Boy Winston, you just have to hop on through Petalburg Woods and he'll be on the other side of it. And like I said, he has Lanoon and Pyroar as well. And sometimes they both give you luxury balls, which are pretty worthless. Uh, you can sell them for $5,000, but I, I pretty much just keep them because luxury, ball, luxury balls look really, really cool. And now you might be asking, why don't you just go to the cafe and get money there? But... The thing about the cafe is that you can only do it once a day and they only give you two big nuggets which is like twenty thousand dollars i think and the battles like by the time you get to through the battles you can already get twenty thousand dollars by playing these two uh npcs which is it's just a waste of time because it's not efficient and it only works once a day you could also play the elite four but there's you have to fight five pokemon every single time and they're around level 60 70 so it's you have to level up a lot higher to be able to one hit ko them and there's all these cutscenes that you have to go through you have to walk through uh every door each and every time then you get reset back to your home after you play after you beat them there's the there's the cutscene especially after you beat the champion and there's also the fact that Steve has two Pokemon, multiple Pokemon with Sturdy, which is really, really annoying. If you want to, if you want to get money really, really quickly and just get through the battle, I mean, they do give you more money than these two, but it doesn't really matter. There's also, uh, I'm going to take you to where the gentleman is. You just go through this patch of grass. I found a wild Pokemon here, and this gentleman also sometimes gives you. Uh, gives you a nugget, so uh, that's easy 5,000 for no reason. So yeah, I don't like playing the Elite Four because you have to have really, really high level Pokemon, and it, I think it just it's just more inefficient than using this method. Now, obviously, there are times when the Trainer Eye does not work and you're unable to battle those two people, but usually it works, and you can always just battle the Elite Four if. It's not working out because after after you play the Elite Four, it usually just resets and you're able to just play them again. And you can just go back and forth, back and forth through routes until they are ready to play you again as well. Now, these three are pretty much the only rich people that you can play in this game unless I skip somebody. But, I mean, I think you can play people on the SS title, but it's not really time efficient. So, I really don't rely on that. And, yeah, as you can see right there, he does give you a nugget, which is pretty cool because that's another $5,000 in your pocket. So, hope you guys enjoyed this guide. Feel free to leave a like if this did help you out. Subscribe for more content. And check out some more of my videos to the right. Just click one of those annotations and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.